not good at your job, you're in the wrong job. You might be a terrible person. But this idea that I should automatically feel bad for someone who's working in a big box retail store is not, they might be a terrible person. I mean, to be fair, we're, we are supposed to be a Christian country. And if Christ walked into Macy's, he'd suck that person off. That's not true. <laughs> By the way, I... I don't know what Bible you all read, <laughs> but I'm telling you the Bible that I read, like God didn't really want people to be losers. Yeah. And I'm no offense out there. I, I, I'm not saying you're losers, but I don't think God wanted people to be losers. When everyone talks about God, they're like, he didn't care about materialism. Of course not. But that's not the point. He can make sure of his mind. It's not the point. The point is like, if I ask you for something, just show me where it is. If I can make wine out of water, what the fuck do I care how much wine costs? That's correct. But my point is this. I love Cersei from Game of Thrones. <laughs> and somebody said, uh, Sansa goes, well, if the gods have mercy, the gods don't have mercy. That's why they're gods. <laughs> the gods, though, the great Lena Headley, the gods don't have mercy. That's why they're gods. <laughs> but the, the reality is, it is nice to see a little slime ball yeah. with a fucking internet router and a fucking phone line trying to at least do something. That's why when I come home and I see some guy rifling through my wife's panties, and yes. I, go, I go, at least this guy's trying to better himself. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like I make him I bake him a sandwich. Like John Lennon. By the way, it would scare someone so much <laughs> if they did a home invasion and yeah. you showed up and offered to make them a sandwich. Did you ever see that video of that like, guy? It's who- a great start of a horror movie. <laughs> I understand why you do it. Let's sit down and figure it out. Listen to me. I'll make you a sandwich. Sit down. <laughs> it's terrifying. Did you ever see that video uh, really? years ago? Wow. Yeah. Interesting. She used to wear those glasses. It was very sexy. Yeah, she was like that hot news anchor with the yeah. glasses. Get an old picture of Ashley Banfield up. A big Zio, isn't she? <laughs> big Zionist. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. She looks kind of like gated. You know, Annie Letterman goes into a meeting the other day in, in LA and they had that some Jewish candy or something. And like, she goes, I'm also a Zionist. And there was silence <laughs> in the room. She is very funny. Like she sits down and she goes, don't worry about it. She goes, I'm also a Zionist. And there was just silence in the room. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So let's play this uh, TikTok. This will catch everybody up on, um, because it is 4th of July. You guys are listening to this and maybe, uh, you know, as a Patreon, maybe you want to, um, you want to figure out where this uh, guy is. Go launch an investigation. Go down there to Oklahoma and go launch an investigation into uh, this. Tell me or the, for the audience. You would be uh, <laughs> probably turned away. I'll start. I'll, I'll get a posse going. There's no thing that you're even remotely concerned about where you don't immediately become a suspect. Yeah. Like if you <laughs> call to offer a tip on anything, yeah. you would become a suspect. By the way, in a cold case that's 20 years old where you couldn't have done it. I'm like M. Emmett Walsh. Yeah. You'd be like, listen, <laughs> I've got hello. Oh, is this a detective handling the Noah Prescott murder? Well, I've got a few tips. Would you want to hear them? They're like, yes, sir, keep talking. Where are you located right now? Well, listen, I'm Beverly Hills. Keep keep talking to us. Back of his head. 